tonight. We're working on a Hustler 42 inch deck, a Hustler Raptor, and we're going to change the oil and the oil filter. And um, the oil viscosity is um, we're going to use SAE 30. Um, we don't get below 32 degrees here Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So 30, SAE 30 for us. It says two quarts right here. We have our filter, shop rags, a screw, the hose to drain the oil, and an oil pan. Oil pans won't fit under here, so this is a Cheryl's cookie can, and it fits right up under here between the hydraulics there. First, we're going to take the hose, attach it to the drain plug. Just slip it on like that. Make sure the hose is lined up with your oil pan right down there, which it is. Then we'll use this flathead screwdriver. And just open up the, uh, the plug. Once it's open, open up the fill tube and get your shop rag. This off. This takes 2.2 .2 quarts SAE 30 or 10W40, 10W30. I think it's all safe. Set this aside, just don't step on it, you will break that. Clean this off. Uh, oil's filling up. Try to open this a little more. We gotta be careful, you go too far. I think this will come right on out. Yeah. Somebody's calling. And before I drain the oil, the engine probably ran about five minutes. I think you only have to run it about a minute to heat up that oil. All right. Let's see if she's finished draining. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Let me see. Maybe we can see from the bottom. Well, you can't see much. There's the drain pan. Here it is. You can see the drain pan and the oil still draining. Now, a regular oil pan won't fit under the deck. The deck's on the highest level. Can't fit it under the deck. It can't fit it between the two hydraulics back here. So uh, that'll definitely hold two quarts of oil. As soon as it slows down, we'll start on the oil filter. Um, while that's draining, let me get a wrench. Let me see if this oil filter will even. That's ah, too tight. Let me get a wrench for that. All right, I'm thinking about that. Get in the shop here, see what we got. Those oil filter wrenches. Mm, nothing here. I've got these. Maybe one of these will fit. Try one of these. I do we'll try it on the new filter? Look at that. No, a little too loose. Too small. Fits just right. All right. Plastic one fits too. I'll use that plastic one. This one was, I think, too big. We'll try this one. Slowing down on us. Pan looks good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and break this oil filter. There she goes. Take the ratchet out. We got it loose. That's why we have these shop rags. You can't avoid getting oil everywhere, so we minimize it. Put the shop rag in there. We're gonna unscrew it as fast as we can. Just let it drop just like that. There's the old one. The new one we're going to put on hand tight. You can put some aluminum foil down there. Maybe kind of drain it so it'll go towards the pan. But it's just as easy 
to use these shop rags. Shop rag there, get our new rag, wipe off the face. watch right now we'll try to clean up some more this morning. yeah see if you back this out too much this will come completely out I should have counted the turns but um, the oil is definitely drained out now. so we'll put our plug back in Screwdriver. This is a stubby. We could put a ratchet on it. I find this works just as good. Well, I had it out. I should have showed you that little, basically, O-ring on it, little green one. So you don't want to go too tight and flatten it out. You just need it to seal up. As soon as you feel it, this is enough pressure on it. And then once you put your oil and start it up, now remove the drain plug plugs out. Save your drain plug. Clean up your oil down here. You can't push your seat up out the way so you get a little better view on all this. All right, drain plugs back. Get our tubes off. Get our new oil filter. We'll lube up the seal. Put some oil in it. Let's try to saturate this seal in here. That's soaking that up. Let me go get a funnel and pour our new oil in. Should have had all that out. Let's see, too big. Let's see if we got that again. Tube is clean. See here, she soaked up a lot of oil. What we're gonna do is dump this oil in, get rid of it, and then we'll put our filter on. Hang tight.
funny. I just try to keep everything clean as I go. I wanted to tell the oil job was done. Same thing here. Hand tight on this oil filter. I'm gonna stretch the gasket out. Just gotta make contact and seal. It actually, when the engine starts running, it actually tightens up. It, won't, it doesn't back up, it tightens up. Alright. Good. And our two quarts of oil. Check our level, we should be high till we crank it up. Get the oil in the filter. What I'm going to do is reuse these, put the oil under here. Get in our drain pan. It fits in there. We're gonna pour this oil back in these 32 ounces. Right. Sharp ring, and that dipstick off. Check our oil level. She comes up to full. Crank her up, let the oil go in the filter, and check our level because it does say 2.2 quarts. So we'll probably add a little more. All right, basically, that's it on the oil change. We'll go ahead and crank it up and then we'll stop the video.